Well, hello there, YouTube. It is me, uh, the Centurion Strongman. What's fantastic is, about six years ago now, I uploaded a little video pertaining to a certain Let's Play that I'd been promising for a little while. Now, as a ripe 18 year old, I bring you a childhood favorite of mine. A game. Which some would refer to as the worst in the series, which I still don't understand why. But I'll shut up now. Yes. Oh, I am an 18 year old playing Ape Escape 3. The backstory behind this is I actually had an entire Let's Play recorded up to the point of the final boss. And then because, you know, I was a stupid little, like, fucking, uh, so what was I, six years ago, 12? I was a stupid little 12 year old. I was like, I'll, d I'll just destroy the save file and everything. So so we're just gonna start a net game. Uh, wonder if it'll fit the whole. I don't know. So anyway. Damn it. No. Not that it matters much. There we go. Alright. I hope you enjoyed that cutscene because now we've got another one. The monkeys will affect the 
until they're mindless TV shows. I'm teleporting a monkey net to you. Use it to capture all of the monkeys. Be careful and good luck. Hey, stop! Cut it out! I hope Natalie will be okay. Well, at least now we know why things are so strange in town. That's the first time I've seen one of those monkeys. The teleport is complete. I guess it wasn't just one of Natalie's bad jokes. Oh my! Yay! Alright, so, Yumi is the easy mode of this game. Basically, the difference is some of the monkeys will fall in love with her, and they will just stand there and allow you to catch them. We're gonna go with K, because I'm, I'm a grown-ass man, and I think, I think I can handle catching a few fucking monkeys. That's, that's good. Hell yeah. One more monkey. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm going to regret stating that. This is drowning me out. Teleportation complete. Just what's going on here? I guess... I guess that everything Natalie said was true. I guess that those monkeys are causing havoc all over the world. We have to capture all of those monkeys and stop their TV shows. Yumi, Kay, we need the two of you. Will you help us? Sure, of course! You know what? This is a TV station. It used to be like a deck. Alright, sh shut up, Aki. Alright. So basically, you go into a level, sh and you go. And you go catch monkeys. And it's really fun. It's really addicting. And it's awesome. So, for example, there are four monkeys here. Like, for example, it's gonna start out. Why do I keep saying that? It's gonna start out with like. Ah, uh, catch four monkeys and we'll get through like three or four levels per episode. But eventually it'll be two episode long levels and I think a couple of three episode long levels. So basically how you control this is this movement is done with the left stick. Swinging and everything else is done with the right stick. And then as you can see, you fiddle around with the things here on the top with the everything. You jump with the R1 or R2, first person mode is L2, and then L1 swings the camera behind you. Oh, piece of shit. Get the fuck back here. Kick the shit out of you. Get back here. So, and these ringing telephones will like give you information and everything. Yeah, like I, I could go and get those guys, but there's another mechanic in here. So basically there's this TV thing right here. What I can do is I can just move up out of it. And you, you film a monkey. True art is like a banana. All right. Filming complete. Of course. Uh, 
Alright, well, I was gonna show something, but them robots fucked it up. Four monkeys. In time attack. Time attack mode will be something I'll discuss at the end of the let's play. Monkey ra radar is pretty useless. All it does is help you look for monkeys. I guess I'll do a brief run through of how things work with weapons when I get them. Alright. So basically, the monkey net is swung around, and it's one of the more simpler items that you get. Stun club, much like that. Except you can't do this little circular... Like, with the stun club, you can do this. I think if you do it for long enough, it... No, it doesn't mess with them. Okay. Oh, no. So what this does is it just lets you know where monkeys are, and if you hit L2, you can you can see like the different monkeys. But you know it's not really all that interesting, and that's because you can very easily find out info about the monkeys from within somewhere. So like you hit little things and you get little extras. Another. Yes, and I will be doing these and showing them off at the end of the uh, the end of the game. Um, this is an all monkeys run. Maybe not an all like extra business run, but I will. I am planning on getting all the monkeys and getting the true ending. So. That's something to look forward to. Um, so this world is basically like a, uh, <laughs> uh, storybook kind of area. There's not really much to this place. Yep, and so you've had we've had yellow monkeys, which yellow monkeys are your, you know, regular run of the mill. And then what I just caught right there is a uh, blue monkey. Blue monkeys tend to run away more, and they're basically they're usually hidden, or they're somewhere. You know, it's a bit less obvious than all the others. And we'll, we'll see more of them. That was a light blue, actually. Uh, yeah, so the monkey forest is basically like a mother goose fairy tale kind of place. And in case I did forget some of the monkeys in the Simeon Cinema. Oh. So yeah, that's just a little addition. I can't remember for the life of me. Oh yeah, so this is the shopping area. The Monkey Mart is where you can buy like handy stuff like, oh, you can buy cookies, which is your life. 
a jacket, which is an extra life, and a lucky ticket, which I'm not sure what that is. I haven't played this game in forever. The bookshop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, the bookshop, no, the bookshop is where you'll find, um, like the channel guide will give you some jokey information about a channel you visited or a channel you will visit. Um, Mon Fiction is monkey stories, so, so like it could be a fable retold with a monkey or something. And then there's a hint book, which will help you get through Ape Escape 3. It's one of the least interesting and it costs the most. The hobby shop has nothing. Oh, I mean, you'll get a lucky photo, which is just photos, funny photos from the game, but you can find there's a game station and you'll find your games here and other stuff like that and different variations on the RC cars. This is the music shop. You can buy movie tapes, which are just tapes from the game, like, so cutscenes and everything. The music discs are music from the game, and I'm not sure what the waiting for delivery is. And this would be the Simeon Cinema. I'm not gonna go into it now, but basically it is a an area where you will find like movies and such that so like I was filming with those cameras earlier that would be like the Simeon Cinema and everything so yeah there's that the gadget trainer home theater uh, and this would be where you save so I'm just gonna do that real quick alright Uh, yep, okay. So the Fantasy Night... <laughs> By the way, this is Saruman's Immobile Castle. So it's a whole joke on the whole, you know, Hell's Moving Castle and all that. And you can actually come back in time attack mode, where all the monkeys will be, and you'll be able to collect any monkey that you're missing. So basically I'm just gonna do this now. This is the fantasy knight. Um, you can swipe at enemies with it. You can oh, do that. And that's just basically like a bigger attack. You can hit monkeys. It will st oh shit. Alright well I'm just gonna catch him. Because if you piss off a monkey too much, it's not going to be a good time. Because pissed monkeys tend to hit you. Well, we'll get to that when we get there. Um, there we go. And I'm just going to end that right now because there's not much else I can do with it currently. Oh, and something that they did in this game that they didn't do in... Oh, shit. Well, here's the first time. This monkey will give you the hardest time. Unless you exclude... Okay. <laughs> so this is fire. Fire is obviously bad for you. You will hold off. You will get burned. Unless you use your shield, which... Um, and of course you need to collect these green little, like, greeny shit things. Fuck. <laughs> I, I've lost track of my own commentary at this point. How sad the 18-year-old cannot comment on a game where you just catch a bunch of fucking monkeys.
But you know, it's that simplistic nature that makes me love this game. And there we go. Kind of move it along fast because. Oh. What could be in that next room? <laughs> well, I'm gonna piss y'all off. See you next time, Internet. Have a good day, or night. Depending on when you're watching this. Whatever.